think that it, it is good. possible that we could go four hours. But... Oh God! Hey, hopefully, Brutus. Hopefully that will not happen. Oh boy! You guys ready for a game? I don't know if Rambo's going to be here or not. Thankfully, this game requires no balance, so if he doesn't show up, he doesn't show up, and not fucked. Uh, where's my singularity? Just saves. Let me make sure I got the name of this thing right. <coughs> yeah, metal power sequence, hopefully. Make sure I spelled it right. Yes, so that I will not mispronounce it. Yeah, everyone's here that needs to be here. I assume Rambus got like work or something, or he might pop in. But, uh, okay, so last time, what did we fucking do last time? It was two weeks ago. Uh, we went to the murder mystery dinner party. Yes, murder yeah. mystery dinner party. Uh, you got back from that. I don't think anyone was, like, majorly injured. Uh, no, nah, we were pretty good on that one. You can roll your, uh, psychology stuff before okay. we... That is a thing yeah. I need to do. Yeah, who are you getting to psychology? You? Your muse? I'm just gonna do my muse, yeah, okay. since... Rambo's not here. 100. And Hopefully let's see how. Worked out okay. Uh, yeah. You heal. Oh. You heal two stress as your muse uh, talks to you about uh, the Outback. The, uh, uh, not the Martian Outback, the Australian Outback. <laughs> Uh, the and, real Outback. Yes, and he, like, paints the a simple face. Yeah. Basically, he just helps you relax. Uh, let me... Anyone else have mental health or... Yeah, mental health, because <coughs> you have access to healing bats, so all your damage is healed. Well... Just, like, I think I'm good damage-wise. My computer keeps crashing, so I think I once again lost my record of... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I think you're I'm fine. Sorry. I think you're fine. I'll just go into downtime for, like, a week. Yeah, that's fine. You're fine. You go comatose. <laughs> uh, okay. So, let's see. Rogue's gonna take care of his thing. Artemis... You are uh, back on good terms with the Titanian Autonomous University because they want to... Well, they're trying to get back on good terms with you. I don't know if you accept it, but they want to set up like a program where their uh, alien studies departments can use your gates for a discounted price. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to go through your boss, though. Uh, no, he'll be fine with it. So, yeah, you have to... Yeah, uh, hold on, let me open up my other thing. Uh, yeah, Dr. Balker sends you a um, message uh, when you happen to be back on Pandora. Uh, and, okay, hold on, I have to text this girl to stop telling her to text me while I'm running this game. Hold on. Wow, somebody's popular. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, anyways. So yeah, Dr. Balder sends you a message when you're back on Pandora. You've actually been spending a lot more time on Piscium 4, because that's where your gates are. So you kind of need to be there to administrate some stuff, which we will get to in a second. But yeah, he says, uh, Artemis, listen, I know the Titanian Autonomous University uh, and yourself have had some issues, but... Uh, Mostly concerning students and them going horribly insane. Which, by the way, Marcus is doing really great. I know you have an ass after him, but he's uh he's recovering. I really totally good. have ass after him. Oh, then there must definitely be some delay. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, what we're uh interested in is if uh maybe the uh. Walesgate LLC and your boss, uh, if you could get the board to maybe vote on letting us use 
the gates at a discounted price to uh, send our um, faculty members through if we want to uh, study things. So, you know, and you know, definitely tenure is definitely in the cards if you can uh, get this for us. Well, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that if I get tenure, I've, I've earned it, you know, based on my, my research and my... Yes, definitely, my... definitely, but this is the... Yeah, it's I... true, it was for emphasis. Yeah, no, it's, uh, this is what would push you over, says Balder, Dr. Balder, he says, uh, this, this is, you know, it's been tough trying to get it through because of the uh, whole Marcus incident, uh, but this would definitely show that you're a team player. I am a team player, so look, I'll I'll talk to my boss and I'll tell him that that he should agree to this because uh, I believe in science, and this sounds like it would be good for science. Yes, it definitely would. Or would uh, it? So yeah, um, there there'll be like a company meeting in here in a second. Don't don't worry. Uh, what is your character's name? Rose. Uh, Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, Adrian. You get a message from uh, Sunan Metrom. She says, "Oh my God, I'm on Pisces Four. Where are you?" I ignore it. <laughs> you get another message. Oh my God, are you ignoring me? Hashtag dependent. Hashtag sad. I'm going to see if I can filter out the messages from her. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, and so you fil you set up uh, your muse to filter out mess, mess messages from her. And then you uh, start seeing your muse goes, uh, Adrian, I, uh, I thought I might want to bring this to your attention. And there is a hashtag called Find Adrian. So uh, apparently she has used her connections and space Twitter to uh, try and get people uh, on in your in the uh, on Piscium Four and in your like gate complex that you're still kind of setting up and like the city that's growing up around it to try and locate you for a uh, rep. What do you do? He's gonna turn himself in for the profit. You could definitely <laughs> you could definitely do that. She'd be super happy to see you. Uh, I'm going to continue ignoring this until, you know, I can't anymore. Your okay. face. <laughs> yeah. So you're uh, you're just walking around like I don't know. What do you, what do you do when you're at the gate complex that you now partially own? I'm I guess just you know tinkering with the equipment, seeing if I can improve the efficiency some. Right. So you're Making you're sure it's all in, all ready to go. You're tinkering with it when uh. A guy comes up to you and he like doesn't double take and he goes, "Oh my God, you're Adrian! I found you!" And then <laughs> you uh you like I guess you like look at him and you're just like, uh, "This guy just got credited with like 20 F rep, uh, and apparently he has marked you on the complex map as to where you currently are." Uh, and I'm detecting that a lot of people are. Uh, Diverging on you, according to their mesh feeds. So they're they're coming for you, and uh, I I think one of them might be Sunan. I don't know. It's kind of hard since you told me to block her. So what do you do? Uh, I'm going to move into an area that only gate crashers can enter. Okay, you move into the uh, actual like where the gates are and where people can observe you through, like, glass, whatevers, and you just see, like, a bunch of people just staring at you, and then you see Sunan, like, push to the front, and she starts banging on the glass and screaming, Adrian. She's like, Adrian! Adrian, can you see me? Oh my god! He's right there, and she's pointing at you. What do you do? Keep ignoring her. Alright, eventually the crowd starts to disperse, except for Sunan, who is just, like, standing there waiting for you to leave. She's like, if you had access, okay, so you don't have access but uh, to her because you told him you're blocked, but does anyone else uh, in your company follow Sunan on Space Twitter? 
work get no. updates related to Adrian? No. Brutus? No. Hold I on. Mean, I can't Artemis isn't myself. blocking her. She just doesn't. Yeah, you don't, you don't care. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you? Sometimes. Yeah. Um, I follow that that data dog that gave her an ice burn. Okay, you follow Get Fucked and Die. <laughs> Get Fucked yes. and Die is uh, talking about how it's a fucking shame that the so called news media is hounding an innocent gate crasher. And you see Adrian's name <laughs> pop up a couple times uh, in related to what's being called Adrian Gate, where she like is stalking him. Oh, uh, on, on That's couple. a terrible pun. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, she's live tweeting, watching Adrian work in the like antechamber where the uh, gates are. So okay, just... can I can I send get fucked and die a message that gate puns in regard to gate crashing are illegal on like seven planets? Uh, he says get fucked and die. Whoa. At least he's consistent. Yep. He I, I'm really going to type rude with a uh, crying face. He says, I literally don't <laughs> care. And then he says, hey, do you have a comment I could uh, post on my blog about this? <laughs> How are you stopping your uh, employee be from, from being harassed by a crazy woman? <laughs> uh, well, right now I'm not. Oh, okay. So you don't have any contingencies in plan? Do you have any security even? Because, like, everyone's just kind of roaming we, around. I am the security. <laughs> do, but not from people who just want to annoy us. Oh, that's a fucking shame, isn't it? We normally call them our employers. <laughs> it's true. Well, actually, our employers usually try and get us killed somehow. Uh, people are, like, lesser employers. Yeah, so... What, Adrian, you have to eventually leave. What do you do? Uh, why? <laughs> You're just gonna stay there forever? He I'm gonna just out. stay there until she leaves. She's just staring at you intently. And then okay. she breathes on the glass and draws a little heart and points at you. I guess I'll eventually just walk out and walk right past her. She's like, Adrian! Adrian! She's trying to pester you. Your muse says, I can, uh, block her out you have a sound filter yep all right yeah you just literally don't hear he's like i can probably paint over her too with some uh smooth uh, jazz no i can paint i can literally paint over her with some holographic uh entropic displays but that might be hazardous uh because you might walk into something but um <laughs> with augmented reality but i will uh alert you if that's a thing that happens do you want me to do that uh, please don't do any visual filtering, no. All right, so you just see her just, like, pestering you. She's trying to get in your way. People are, like, looking at you. And finally, she just, like, stops, and she, like, starts crying. What do you do? Do you just keep walking? Yes. <laughs> nice. You even have to ask. All right, so there is a crying Sunan in the hall, and I'm sure this will have no repercussions. Uh, so... Uh, you, uh, let's see, what, what's your character's name, Brutus? It's been, like, two weeks, and I forget. <laughs> Ethan. It's... Ethan, you're right. Okay, so, Ethan, uh, there have been a lot of, uh, so there's a city that's starting to kind of form up around, uh, your gate complex, uh, and it's yeah. kind of compromised of enclaves from, like, most of the major qualities in the solar system, because, you know, you don't want to step on any, like, toes. So there's like a PC, uh, Titanium Commonwealth, obviously, Morningstar Constellation using the Terra Genesis gate on Mercury, uh, the Ultimates uh, using, I think it's the Fisher gate, and of course the Anarchists have leaked through uh, the Love and Rage Collective, and uh, there is also a Piscean Floor delegation um, who oh, are just there to, you know, observe. Observe. Yes. So, uh, the problem is, they've, uh, this has been, uh, really good for you, um, because there's a lot of good services and special specialists entering, like, the system, uh, and it's making you, quite frankly, rich, so everyone gets plus 10 rep, um, of whatever type you want. So, everyone, because you all invested in the company and it's paying dividends, mm. uh, because mm -hmm. there is... 
Uh, a lot of people moving in and out, so everyone get plus 10 rep of any type you want. What don't I have a lot of... Well, at rep, but yeah. Yeah. You, uh, by the way, you're blacklisted. Uh, your blacklisting looks like it's going to be lifted. Shocker. Yeah, it's they don't want to fucking piss you off. So it looks like they're going to lift it. Uh, they just have to go through the K for economics. Did not really stand a chance. There was a, there was no reason to roleplay out. You've done everything to make the Titanian Commonwealth and the uh, autonomous like you. So unless you do something drastic next session, you will no longer be blacklisted by the <laughs> anarchists. Uh, so yeah, but they are they're starting to like you, mostly out of necessity. But anyways, uh, so yeah, plus ten rep to everyone of any type you want. Uh, but this freedom that also allows everything to kind of move. Uh, means there's a lot of chaos, um, like from a legal standpoint, no one's sure what laws apply. So they're following the ones they know best and expecting everyone else to do the same. So, uh, so like you will have a section where the PC are strong and they will strictly enforce property, intellectual property laws, control of the fabrics they bring in hypercapitalism. Uh, and then this like conflicts like with the anarchists who are like right next door. Um, <laughs> And so it's caused a lot of, uh, it hasn't caused too much actual, like, fighting fighting, like physical fighting, but it has caused some verbal fights. And uh, the factions would kind of like you to decide how you're going to run this city. Uh, so you can, I have written up um, the heads of the factions if you want to talk to each of them to see what they're like. You could call a meeting between all of them. Uh, but in the end, it's up to you guys to decide how you mm -hmm. want to run the city. So the question is, how badly do we want to piss off the PC? Well, you can talk to the PC guy and see what he what he's all about. I've uh, got a feeling I already know, but okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll talk to you. Uh, you can all go if you want. Okay. <laughs> okay, so is everyone going to do the uh, talk to the... Uh... Wait, he's not from Cognite, is he? No, he's not. He's just a general emissary from the PC. Okay. So, uh, his name is Emissary. His full title is Emissary. His name is Mohammed Van Hedtoff. Uh, Good name. Is, is, so, proof that Arabia uh, will come to pass. Yeah. Yep. So, I will post his name so that you can look at it. He goes by Emissary Van, uh, Van Hedtoff. Uh, Emissary Muhammad. So, uh, he is... So you can do some research on him to see, like, what he's all about. So that would be a right. research role. So everyone who's there, and if you're muted, unmute yourself. <laughs> I'm here. All right. But yeah, everyone can go see him. He'd actually like to see the people there behind Whalesgate. He would like to talk to you. So, uh, research, uh, research roles are networking hypercorps. Oh, well, one of those is much higher than the other for me. Yep. So go ahead and roll. Oh, research? Yeah, research or networking hypercorps to see what you can find success. out. Success. Yeah. Probably better success from Rogue. Uh, no, <laughs> that's a failure. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm waiting for... I assume Artemis is going to immediately roll research. Yeah, sure. I know what she's here for. If I rolled uh, two I'm pretty sure that's a success. Two. I'm just trying to check the thing. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, you know that uh, everyone who succeeded, you know that he's a strong believer in PC law, uh, intellectual property rights, control over fabers, and you know hyper capitalism. Um, he's published a lot of works on uh, the PC way of government. <clears throat> which is basically, uh, there's like a lower house of elected officials by the people, but the upper house uh, is controlled by the corporations who have bought shares in the PC uh, and have veto power a court and have votes. Uh, like their votes are weighted to how many shares they have um, in the uh -huh. PC. And they have the, uh, they can hold private votes to veto any law passed by the lower house. So that's what he'd like to see you guys do. So... Uh, you go to see him, he says, ah, uh, CEO, um, CEO, uh, Clem Cross and, uh, the other investors of, um, New Wales, or New North Wales Survey Corporation. 
Uh, how can I help you? He is in a pretty uh, nice office in what you would consider to be the Planetary Consortium District. Uh, if districts could be such a thing in the city that is slowly being raised around your gates. So he says, how can I help you? What, what do I owe the pleasure of your company? Um, hmm. I'm not sure how to phrase this, but yeah, just... We've heard that there's been uh, some issues with some of the other people who have been moving into this site. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, we're not quite sure. Uh, there's no established laws yet. There's no governing body of uh, this city. Uh, we, you know, so we maintain order in the area that we control uh, through our use of private contractors and he kind of gestures around and you notice there's a lot of direct action guys who are just kind of lounging about with guns uh, so you know uh, people in people want security we provide security um, that's you know people we expect people to follow a certain law and until they until you've established such laws we have to keep what's ours I'm sure you understand uh, being an entrepreneur yourself mm-hmm um, yeah, but we need proof that you're not, you know, not the aggressor in this case. Huh. Well, I've, it's all been arguing so far. I, I've had, I have issues with everyone that isn't, well, I have less issues with the Morning Star and Constellation ambassador, but, and the Titanian Commonwealth ambassador, but, uh, the Ultimates and the Anarchists and the Piscium 4 delegation, uh, we, we have problems with them. They, I don't want yeah, to if say. You got problems with the ultimate sword down yourself. <laughs> that was out of character. But uh, it's it all stems from we're not sure what what the laws are regarding. Like, uh, I want to. Tr we have goods that the anarchists want, and they're offering rep, and we don't really want rep. We want credits, and they they're trying to barter with us, and we just want credits. Uh, and they they say that the credits aren't established here. So they, you should use rep instead, and we're just not sure what to do. So a lot of it is stemmed from we're not sure what to do. I'm sure if you ask the other factions, they'll have ideas. Uh, but I, I would prefer to see something. I, the PC's form of government seems to work very well for it. Uh, something like that would be fine. But it's up to you ultimately. We, the PC will gladly accept whatever you. Uh, whatever you put, whatever you decide to do, as long as it's not something like complete anarchy. Yeah, Luna has all the, like, rep exchange for credits. Uh, you are not in contact with Luna, so uh, yeah, any rep for credit sure conversion would. would be slightly out of date, which would not be super good if it's, like, if a rep crashes in credit stores. So, yeah. Sometimes. So they aren't willing to take that chance. Uh, if you want to get a quantum computer that is solely with a uh, quantum communication to a Luna rep exchanger, uh, you could definitely do that, and that would solve a lot of problems they currently have. That's some, If you want to go mixed economy where rep and credits are equally uh, yeah, accepted. Yeah, I think can survive a mixed economy. I'm not sure how everybody else feels about that, though. Well, he says, uh, money is tyranny. Mm. But yeah, you'd have to work out something with like a lunar bank and lunar bank and get like yeah. a, a staff. That sounds like a lot of effort when we could just not do that and have these people go fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, tell the planetary consortium to go fuck themselves. Well, whatever. They can use rap, okay? It's not that hard. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what Mohammed Van Hickoff would like. All There's right. uh, the Titanium Commonwealth, Morningstar Constellation, Ultimates, Anarchists, and the Piscium 4 delegation would like to talk to you. Okay. Um... They don't like the Piscium 4 delegation? Yeah, they just <sighs> have someone on the outskirts of the city. Just Is it just one guy? <laughs> one. It's like one woman and a couple. Um... Oh, is it? What's her name? No, she's My not going to be around. She... Oh, God. Oh god, did she get liquidated or something? No, yeah. she's just not. She's probably not going to be allowed to be right next to you. Yeah. 
So yeah, uh, the Piscean Four delegation, all Anarchist, right. Ultimates, Morningstar, and the Titans. Titanians. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Hello. Oh we have su- we have that. such si- we have such sights to show you. <laughs> All right. Um let's go to the ultimates next. Does anybody object to that? I wanna see what the guy the scary guys with guns have to say before we uh start laying down any rules that might piss them off. All right. Scary guys whose ideas of evolution are that humans will get uglier faces. Look like weird shark. Anyways, people. uh so it is uh the ultimates of the Gonin Corporation have sent an Autark, which is the highest rank you can achieve in the ultimate hierarchy. Which I looked up because it's in a fucking book. Uh Whoa. Yeah, I know, right? So they sent Aut Autark Aut Autark Akira. Um so, Really? Yeah. Does he have a laser satellite? No. This Akira is Akira is a gender neutral Japanese name, but whatever. Uh, it's not really gender neutral. It is. It's pretty it's much both. a man's name. Uh, you can also use it for female. I looked it up. Yeah, but it's usually a man's name. Yeah, but anyways, Why? it's pretty. So yeah, you can look up Atark Akira if you have networking. Ultimates is a thing, uh, or just research. What networking was that? Sorry, you cut uh, out for a ult- second. Ultimates. Ultimates okay. is a thing. I'm sure um, we all have that. Yeah, no. So, Let's try yeah, research can, roll research. and see how this goes. Just tell me Miss, if it's did you succeed? succeed? Yeah, you yeah. must have. Okay. So then uh if you succeed, uh they believe that uh they being like the gender neutral term that Autark Akira likes. Um they believe that the strong should rule the weak. And the weak should be either removed or made subservient. Now they are also extremely practical. Uh, they'd like to buy. They, the way ultimates work is they'd either like to buy out all your shares, or they'd like to remove you from power by force and take over. But they also realize that as it stands, there would be a <laughs> huge backlash from every gate using polity. So instead, they just want some order to be imposed. As the strongest, they believe that the ultimates should be the ones that impose it. So they believe oh, that God. since they have the most guns, they should take a role in imposing it. And indeed they have. The ultimate area uh, is fucking orderly as shit. <laughs> like, yeah. And uh, they, they have guns and they're patrolling. And uh, the anarchists tried to do some smuggling and they were... Now they're dead. They weren't killed, but they, they had some limbs broken. Uh, <laughs> specifically their hands. The Autark, the uh, Autark is old-fashioned like that. So the Autark bows to you and says, uh, "Hello, how can I be of service to you?" Oh God. Um. <laughs> so we've heard that you've been having some uh, issues here, and we wanted to hear. Um, I don't know, basically, <laughs> what you want fixed. Ah, well, it's there's no order. Uh, we impose order on our part, and uh, we are happy to do that, but you cannot impose order on others without their consent or making a move that would obviously greatly displease you. Uh, you realize that Akira is talking about force of arms <coughs> to impose order on other people, and they realize that would piss you off and piss everyone else off. So uh, they are just imposing order on their very small part um, of the gate complex uh we we have no problem if you could establish some sort of laws we would make sure that they were followed to the letter uh but as it is we have to follow what we believe is right and what we believe is right is that you know anarchists shouldn't smuggle things in uh to our area when we ask them not to so you get the sense that the uh they have like they're like a kind of like a monk order sort of and they have vows where they will not like they will make certain things taboo to themselves uh yeah and the anarchists decided that that they would smuggle that shit in because it sounded funny and after the anarchists were warned once like please don't do that they um (laughs) the anarchists are like ha no fuck you buddy uh and then they tried to do it again and they got their hands broken if this is about the inc- so the Otterick says, uh, if this is about the hand breaking incidents, uh, 
my men, and I will pay for uh, any damages done to the morgue. Uh, but mm. we made it very clear to them that there would be a consequence for their actions. Oh, uh, honestly, I'm not having that much of a problem with this. So, yeah, if you set up a law system and you include them in the creation of it, they will be glad to help enforce it. Okay. So think that could police, be useful. Think policemen. Yeah. Except ultimates who are very, will, very strict on scary the Scary policemen. Will, and, yeah, will everyone else be super pleased about that? Because I feel like maybe they would not be. The ultimates would yeah, be and fair. Yeah, definitely won't be, the, but I don't see. I, I will say this. The ultimates are extremely fair in how they deal. So, like, if it's a hypercorp dude who is caught smuggling, gets one warning. If the hypercorp dude then continue smuggling, his hands will also be broken. So, like, <laughs> whatever punishment you put down, they will enforce it equally on everyone. They, it's very hard to bribe them. Anyway. Well, okay, t to be fair, I think whatever sort of thing we end up doing, we probably should not let them just punish people on the spot on account of, you know, <laughs> this. The, that's not how modern societies work. Yeah, but it's up to you. Mm -hmm. They will... They will Basically, whatever you, as long as it's not chaos like the uh, anarchists want, where it's like everyone can do whatever you want. Everyone has a gun and they can shoot it in the air. Woo wee! So, yeah, they're, you know, so basically they want something that will impose order. Uh, the Planetary Consortium wants something that gives you guys pretty much all the power. So, something okay. that they, sh something, yeah. Planetary Consortium, basically, they want something like the PC where you guys literally have. The power to veto any laws that are passed. So, who do you want to talk to next? Uh, Titanian, Morning Star, Anarchist, or the Piscean Port delegation? I think the... Let's talk to Morning Star because uh, we haven't encountered okay. them all yet. All right. So, uh, Morning Star is headed up by Ambassador June Ibn Silo. Silo. So you can roll. Uh, what is it? F, you can roll media, networking media, or networking hypercorps, or research. Find out about that. I rolled research. All right. Uh, if you succeed, she is pro hypercapitalism, but with slightly less restrictive control over fabers and intellectual property laws. Um, the way Morningstar is set up is um, there's one legislative house, uh, one le legislative one house legislative branch that's elected into power. That can create and pass laws with a prime minister that signs into law and vetoes these laws. So uh, it's okay. kind of more moderate. It's not the direct democracy of the Titanian Commonwealth where literally everyone can vote and propose legislation. Um, it's not cyber democracy or whatever they call it in the book. It's more just like moderate. It's more like an actual modern democracy. Yeah. Pretty much. Like can you hear me? Wise, yeah. It's pretty unfair. Can you hear me? <laughs> what? Can you hear me? Uh, kind okay. of, yeah. Good. Sorry, my computer nearly fucking crashed. So. Oh boy. That would be bad. Okay, so yeah, it's um more modern. It's uh still pro capitalism, so not a whole lot of rep, but. Okay. You know. So she says uh. She says, um, uh, hello, uh, I'm sure you know who I am. How can I be of service to you today? Uh, See, you well, I haven't been having a whole lot of complaints. You know what, Misk, you're going to have to take this one. Okay, hello. Hi, uh, you're Dr. Artemis, correct? Yes, I am. Uh, well, what, what can I do to help you today? Oh, um, we are just talking to people. To see if they have concerns about um, or issues with the current legal situation here, on account of some people do have issues. Well, I'm currently dealing with being undercut by the PC, uh, the people from the PC here. They're using the fact that you don't have any clear business laws or ethics to uh, go kind of hog wild. Uh, but, you know, it would be easier to fight this in, if there were laws, there, it would be easier to fight it in a court where there's clearly established business laws. But since there are none, 
I'm having to deal with uh, PC shenanigans mostly. Okay, <laughs> well they're assholes, so. I well, understand. yes, I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Um. Okay. Well, we'll try to sort that out for you then. Anything else? Um. No, I don't really have any complaints. The uh. I mean, the anarchists are being the anarchists, but we have anarchists on Venus, uh, so we know how to deal with a gray market. So. It's it's whatever it is. Uh, okay, but yeah. Cool. All right. Who do we want to go to next? Uh. Titan, anarchist, or Piscean. Let's. I kind of want to save the Piscean delegation for last. So okay. let's see what Titan wants. All right. It's headed up by Amelia Bickerdike. So give me a networking autonomous. Networking or, or research. Hopefully just research. research. Whoa, 36 is everywhere. 36 is all the time. All right. She is the daughter of the last prime minister of the Commonwealth. Um, she's a well-known artist and political activist. Wow. Uh, just... No, she's just someone that uh, PM Trans Infinity sent over. Uh, because she's well-liked. She's actually knowledgeable. She participates in the cyber democracy. Um... She'd like to see. She'd actually like to see something like the Titanian model, um, where everyone can vote and propose legislation, with a prime minister and their cabinet signing them into law and carrying them out. So. See, the the question I would have about that is, isn't this really not? I mean, how much of a permanent population are we going to have here? You will have uh, people who unless cater. the gate explodes, I imagine quite. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, it seems like. A, a, a huge amount of the population is probably going to be people who are, uh, yeah. you know, staying here for a while for, for various reasons. True, I mean, but you're going to have services. Be... Yeah, services. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of uh, services that deal with gate crashers. Some gate crashers like to settle once they're done gate crashing. Your place is actually pretty a pretty good place since it has access to um, all the major polities, so they never really have to leave home. So it's a pretty good place to settle for gate crashers. Um, a lot of businesses are going to set up. The mm. various polities are going to want to set up like emissaries and shit there, um, which will lead to having some staff that lives there permanently uh, who might eventually decide they like living there better. So it will be a, be like a medium-sized population. Fair enough. It, it will take time to build up, but, you know, so... You want to talk to her? Sure. All right, who's yeah. talking? Let's go nuts. Um, again, we haven't had a whole lot of complaints from them, so I'm not really sure what to say. All right, so she just says, uh, hello. Um, hello. So, how can I help you? It's surprising to see you here. Uh, I, I actually, well, I did. Oh, did we lose Julia again? No, I'm reading the thing that Rogue said. Uh, you shall read it. Um, because it's very sad. Oh. All right. Yep. We will. Uh, he's graciously left the call up, so we're going to finish playing. But we're very sorry to hear that though, about your friend. Uh, okay. So, um. So we're just going to keep playing uh, the two of us? Yeah, I mean, it should be okay. fine. It should be fine. We'll just say that Adrian is dealing with his stalker. Um, <laughs> okay. Intensely dealing with his stalker, but like trying to get away from her. Um. So yeah. Uh. What was I saying? Um. Amelia Bickerdike. Uh. She says I've actually heard that you're making the rounds to talk to everyone about their problems. Um. That's pretty true. They are actually the closest. The uh, Titanium Commonwealth is actually the closest to the gate. Is how you set it up yep. um, with them. So they are kind of uh, kind of dealing with all sides. They know how to deal with the anarchists. It's you know whatever they deal with the anarchists all the time. They uh, they're not super happy with the PC. They're kind of uh, you know making it life difficult on them with their property intellectual property laws and control over fabers. So they have a lot of uh, PC people coming to where they are, to like the titanium section, and just getting a lot of stuff from the Fabers for free that would cost them money, uh, but is in train on 
titanium resources because like it's not staying there. So you'll have like Okay. Uh they've Morning Star Constellation, they're kind of whatever about um they don't really care. The Ultimates, they they're having pro I don't want to say they ha they're having problems. They have problems with the Ultimates even being here because of the way the Ultimates and the Gonin group took a gate from took the Fisher gate or the Discord gate from Anarchist at one point. But they get along. It's just, you know, tensions are kind of high because the Autonomous Alliance never really forgot that. So yeah. They're they're having issues with PC basically stealing their not stealing, but like sending people over to use their whatevers to get stuff they couldn't normally get. So that's she's just like it's that's a problem that we're having, but it's not a major thing. If you could just get them to like, I don't know, if you could just nail down what intellectual property laws we'd need to use, that'd be great. Uh, or just get them to contribute to a feed stock for a fabric. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. So I it's yeah, it's that, whatever. That'd be pretty uh yeah. Uh so anarchist now? Easy to fix. Sure. Uh, yep. Alright, you don't have to research this guy because if I had made him he would have the you're that guy trait. His name is Rexus. Uh he is a guy in a custom made dinosaur morph. Made to resemble a raptor from prehistoric times. Uh, he <laughs> wait, loves... wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah. Like, actually what raptors look like, or like Jurassic Park style? Actually what raptors look like. Okay. So he's so. a lizard bird. Yep. Yep. He's got feathers and shit all over him. He's uh, super into the anarchist lifestyle. Um, it, you know, with uh, nebulous, ever-changing, growing, and collapsing collectives, controlling everything. Full morphological rights, no intellectual property laws. Everyone has at least ten guns at all times, and fabrics are open to anyone with a rep. So he really likes collectives, uh, and how he thinks collectives should be run is uh, whoever's in the collective, it's up to them how they want to run it. And if they can't agree, then they should just split and form a new and form new collectives. <laughs> Wonderful. So he uh he's in his little dinosaur morph, and he says, "Ah, hi, how's it going?" What's up? Uh, so <laughs> you know what? No, Visk, you can handle this. Um, uh, it's it's okay. We're just uh we're making the rounds to talk ah. to various people to uh get some idea of the issues. You know, we we know that everyone's having some issues due to the legal situation right now. Yeah, some of my guys got their hands broken by those fucking ultimates. <laughs> Everyone else has got like a stick up their ass about fucking guns and shit. You know, whatever, man. You know, I, I walk the streets and people are staring at me when I leave the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, fucking, the hub collective, which is what they're calling their part of the city. Whenever I leave the hub collective, uh, yeah, it's, it's fucking whatever. They fucking stare at me and they're like, oh, are you a fucking uplift? It's like, what's the matter, man? I don't even fucking care. They're all fucking. So he just <laughs> keeps talking. The fucking fascist, man. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Oh, I, I I see. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? Can we uh can we get some uh, definition on if uh like fucking if we're using reps or credits? Because I'm having some real fucking issues trying to set up some uh lucrative deals. And you yeah, know just just what is crime? Like, can we get some definitions on what crime <laughs> is? Is it illegal for me to sell sell these drugs? So the problem with the anarchist. Okay, is, I'm about to make a persuasion roll right here. Because yeah. while we're not gonna outlaw drugs completely, um, smuggling things into the ultimate section of this uh, city just because you can, not a good idea, and that's a success. Well, yeah, they fucking broke our hands. <laughs> Obviously, he already figured out that it wasn't a good idea. I mean, I'd be fucking. I won't do it. You telling me not to do it? Okay, man. You're like the head of this whole thing. But uh, you gonna hold a vote for that? I think, uh, I think we should get the anarchists together and hold a vote and see like what they think. But I oh think they'll. Oh my god! Like, you know, I think we should form a committee actually on figuring out. So he just spins off into like we should form a collective to determine blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, well, yeah. thank you for your input. Yeah. No. No problem. We're, we're gonna. Okay. Great. So, uh, Piscean 4 delegation. 
Yep. All right. She's this will be interesting. She's on the outskirt with a outskirts with a couple. She's basically made camp with a couple um, other people in the Colonial Peace Force. Uh, her name is Captain Clara Bell. Clara <laughs> Bell. So she's a member of the CPF and the designated go delegate go between for the Piscean Force for Piscean Force citizen and the city that's growing up at their borders. So uh, that's one hell of a name. Yeah. So Captain Clarabelle. So she'd uh, like to see the whole city accept Maggie into their hearts and have the city be incorporated into the colony. But even yeah. she, well, hold on. But even <laughs> she knows that's never going to happen. So instead, she'd like to uh, see stronger central government with lots of authority, as well as stricter customs. Uh, smuggling is starting to become an issue in Piscean Four, as outsiders from the city bring stuff into the colony. So she'd like to see some more uh, tighter regulations on your end. And she mm. salutes you as soon as she sees you. And she says, hi, how are you doing? You guys I... having a good day? <laughs> Not so bad. far, so good. Awesome, awesome. It's great I, that... Uh, I, I, I hear that uh, setting up a camp alone, uh, you know, outside of a giant city uh, is a really stressful thing to do. I'm not having any stress. I'm having a great time. I get to meet all sorts of interesting people. Did you know there's a guy and... Oh, this is just so crazy. I don't know why anyone would do this. But he looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we we just talked to him, actually. Yeah, what's up? How can I help you? You know, I've, I've been meeting right. so many people. I mean, I could use some help from you. But uh, <laughs> I, what can I do for you? Um... <laughs> You know, See, I got... The main thing can... that we want from you guys okay. is for you to stop living under the control of a <laughs> oh, megalomaniacal so AI. Blunt. I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm not going to stop doing that. But I, 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 I thank you for your concern for my well-being. And she tries to hug you. Okay. Sure. Yeah, she hugs you. She I'll, hug, I'll hug her back. So great. So great. Do you want a hug too? I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, can you maybe help me with some of my problems? Sure. What are what are your problems? Just there's a lot of I don't want to call it smuggling because that makes it sound like it's illegal, and of course you don't have any laws yet. But you know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but uh, there's people coming into Piscean Four who are bringing in things that aren't they aren't supposed to. Like so what? It's just like foreign food, uh, Other XPs. opinions. Yeah, that too. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, X what? XP's foreign opinions. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, X she did not say that out loud. Yeah, that was, that was me kind of making a joke at her expense, yeah. which yeah. is what I'm going to be doing. Throughout uh, this XP's uh, games, similar space stuff, software, just it, it needs to be screened is what we're saying. And, you know, we want to work with you. We you know, we realize that you're not going to go anywhere. We have accepted that. Maggie's had us accept it. We've accepted it. Um, but we want to work with you to maybe set up some sort of way to screen what goes between us. Maybe, like, we could give you a, a list of approved items that are allowed into the city or into Piscium 4. And uh, whatever you decide to set up as a way to uh, regulate that could screen that. You know, nothing major on you. Mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not asking See, you to stop importing it. We're just asking you to stop bringing it into Piscean 4. We the, don't care what you issue, do in your own city. Yes? The issue, I think, is that we don't really care oh. about what Maggie wants because she's evil. This <laughs> uh, card is Master Diplomat. I don't think she's evil. But you're you're welcome to your own opinion, and I'm glad you have it. And she smiles at you. Yeah, basically, uh, here's here's the ninety percent of the problems I are think coming from that, I think that those things being smuggled into Piscium Four will probably just improve Piscium Four. We so disagree. I'm we disagree. To, Listen. To, yeah, I know you disagree, <laughs> but you're wrong because we, you're being we fooled by a maniacal AI. We, we voluntarily submitted to Maggie's guidance, and you know. It's voluntary. They can leave at any time. And actually, we're super glad that your city popped up because it gives uh, 
It gives uh, our children a place to safely go when they're allowed, they, they're given a year to explore the universe. It's still kind of close to home. Sometimes homesickness is a big worry they have, but uh, you seem to have the best of everything and represent. So we're glad you're here. We, we're super glad. Uh, we want to work with you, but it doesn't seem like you want to work with us, which makes us sad. Oh, she frowns. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Judging what we got from the other uh, groups that have settled here, um, yeah, we're not going to make you any promises. Again, relationship's still kind of tense, you know. Yeah. You're well, run by a super controlling AI and all that. We're just but, trying uh, to kill us. Let's not forget that. <laughs> we're sorry. Mistakes were it made. It was a really that. bad bad attempt, to be fair. Mistakes were made. We're Maggie is genuinely genuinely sorry. She'd like to actually, you know, come in person, but you know she can't. We need we actually need a mm-hmm. but actually maybe you can do us something do us a favor, another small favor. Uh, What's that? Maggie would like to have a non-threatening human body, but she's also an AI, so she needs a robot body. Uh, we hear that there's a type of a uh, morph that uh, looks human and actually believes like a human and is basically human, but it's actually a robot. Uh, we think it's called a steel morph with a synthetic mask. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do you think maybe... That's the one thing had... What? Yeah. That's the one thing had. You yeah. think maybe that could be something that you import? We, we'd, of course, be absolutely happy to pay. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe. Um, hang on, I've got a question. Yes. Do, do AIs have to use robots? No, armors? they don't have to, but they get like penal- they get like a minus a 30 to... difficult to... Yeah. yeah, they get like a minus 30 to sleep into them. Oh, I see. It's, Dumb. Oh, is it really minus thirty? Okay. It's it's like minus thirty or minus twenty. It's fucking okay. dumb. Yeah. Which if I ever run something and you guys are AIs, you can definitely sleep in without having to worry, worry about that stupid penalty. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. So yeah, do you think maybe we'd be willing to pay? Hmm. Uh, we have uh. we have our own internal rep network, but obviously you want that converted to something you could use. We also have that would be credits. useful, yeah. So maybe you should get a rep changer then, and she jokes. Kind of. That actually is kind of the plan at this point, but yeah. All right. So we've talked to everyone. It's kind of, what What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, okay. You okay, guys can well, talk. Well, we can discuss things, yeah. 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 Big thing is, like I said, 90% of this colony's problems right now are coming from the anarchists. You could figure uh, out a way to... Is that true? I, I feel like it's mostly the anarchist and the PC as well. <laughs> a little bit of well, the tech, the the uh, well, the Morning okay. Star all yeah. had pro- and the anarchists all have problems with the PC. So if you can figure out a way to work those two together, then more power to you. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. Well, what I was gonna say is I feel like well, there's a few separate issues that might need separate solutions, but. The, the biggest issue is just the lack of laws in general, and also that everyone sort of wants to follow different laws. So what I was thinking is we can establish one set of laws, which would probably be based on, like, Titan's laws most closely, because they're... Yeah, probably be the safest. And, and may, may, maybe... Also, they're like providing our security. <laughs> I mean, t- the Titanians and the Morning Star seem like the most moderate ones generally, mm-hmm. on either side. So something based on on them, mainly the Titanians, because they are our you know yeah. sponsors kind of would work. And then I was also thinking that we could you know the the sort of informal system of different factions have their own different areas. I was thinking that perhaps yeah, we break could those formalize off into official part of districts. It. And kind yeah, of well, them maybe, maybe not maybe not entire districts, but like for example, okay. I feel like the the ultimates are probably going to want at least a small area where they can sort of yep. enforce their laws. Yeah, uh, with regard to not having certain things be imported and and so on, and I you know I mean I don't think that's unreasonable as long as they are relatively small areas that everyone enters 
into voluntarily, <laughs> and you know, no one is is forced to go into those areas. Um, and, and I feel like the PC could have the same thing. You know, if they're worried about, they want you know stricter intellectual property laws or something for particular things, and they can just stay in their area and not have to worry about it. Yeah. But the the rest of the like the the major part of the um uh town or whatever it ends up being um would then be still be under our laws. Yeah, that would make that sounds good to me, yeah. Okay. And I'm trying to think that I mean that should address some of the issues. The one about the people abusing the fabbers, um I was just gonna say like for that, we can probably just have rules about everyone having to contribute to the feedstock for them. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, yeah. So. So we're probably gonna piss off the anarchists a little bit. Well, we're okay. yeah. I mean, we're gonna piss off the anarchists, but the problem with the anarchists is there isn't really an easy solution for them because. Yep. They're yeah, like rules. Of, all right. Yeah, well, they don't like rules, and also they're not unified, right? So the the, the yeah. ultimates, we can just give them one unified area where they can follow their rules, <laughs> and it's like they'll probably be mostly okay with that. The anarchists, that doesn't really work. Okay. Um, I, I suppose we could set up a small area where there are literally no rules, where the anarchists can go if they really <laughs> want to do something that's against the rules, but... Yeah. Uh, ultimately, okay, yeah. Ultimately, the anarchists kind of, you know, <laughs> get they're free to be anarchists in general, but when they're here, they follow our rules, yeah. and they're here voluntarily, so that shouldn't be that much of a problem for them. Okay. Yep. And then gonna announce this plan. So you're going with the uh, titanium cyber democracy thing. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So I was with, thinking. Yeah. Zones of autonomy. Some cyber democracy stuff. Should be pretty easy to. And uh, Piscium Four delegation. Do we yeah. care? <laughs> Not too much. Yeah, I mean, like we can maybe have some suggestions that people not do that stuff, but I'm reluctant to actually <laughs> enshrine that in the law. You, okay. All right. I'll. I don't know what. How do I'll you give that to you? No, I was honestly thinking about making it a law, but uh, kind of quietly telling the anarchists, you know, if you need to smuggle something somewhere, we're not really going to enforce that particular section. Nice. I feel like that's a bit dickish. Uh, yeah. On the other hand, it's a horrible AI, so I don't really care. But we'll we'll get her that body if she wants. I mean, I, that doesn't seem like a big deal. That's yeah, not particularly. Also, also. So. Consider that if Maggie has a, a physical body. Well, I would assume she'd make backups, so. But no, no, no. I mean, if she has a physical body, I can punch her in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. I see where your priorities are. All right, yeah. hold on. I'm drawing a map here for you guys. So, okay, there will be a couple of things that you'll have map. to. Yeah, I know, right? There, remember <laughs> that you have to hit fucking alt to draw circles. One, the most important thing. Two. Fucking oh my god. <laughs> Three. Fucking oh my god. <laughs> fucking circles. Is, is there a reason rectangles are like not. Are not what? I don't know. You're getting upset at the rectangles. I don't. I don't want to use rectangles. Okay. I want to use circles. Oh my god. Okay. Here's our. Here's the camp. Yep. I'm trying to set up. I'm trying to damage. Show the five zones of autonomy that you have. Okay. Then, oh, maybe I should get rid of the camp then. So. Yeah. Are you gonna give them? No, you can definitely put the camps. Somewhere. Well, if they want a place to gather, like you know, again, where they set up that camp. I don't think we can really complain about that too much. It's sure, they can have some stuff. Yeah, here. I'll put it back down then. Right. This is not, like, super representative. It's not the scale, yeah. Of how, it's, of how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be kind of like star-shaped. So the purple, or the pink circle right here, is basically where you guys, where your laws kind of apply. And then zones of autonomy kind of circle around it. 
And so uh, everyone kind of wants to put their own or in. Um, Vander Van Hedhoff is is basically okay. If we're gonna have this these zones, um, I'm fine with contributing to a public feedstock for powders. That's fine. Um, yeah. Are we gonna get a rep exchanger? Is his major question. Are we gonna do something about that? Yes, we are going to. I'm gonna pull some of my contacts on Luna and see what we can do about that. All right. So he's happy then if you pull through with that. Uh, yep. Titanium I'm gonna Amelia, wait. Have to wait for Ramba to show up though to actually do that. <laughs> Amelia Biggerdike, um, she's pretty happy. She kind of got what she wanted. Morning Star Constellation, uh, yeah, get a rep exchanger. Um, yep. They'll be happy. The Ultimates, okay, yes, they're super happy. They've basically been. They're calling it a temple because they're weirdo Ooh. warrior monks. I was going to name it for them, but fine. No, they'll, they'll definitely <laughs> name some areas. I was, yeah. was going to name it for Tetsuo, but I got a feeling you'd be mad about that. <laughs> no, I'd be super happy about that. If you want to be, if you want to give it the, that informal name, that's fine. Um, okay. But yeah, they're calling it the temple. Um, they want to know if you need a police force. Um, it'd be useful. Just don't they, go crazy. They volunteer themselves. So. Okay, but let's just to be clear. They're not to inflict any punishments on anyone that they... Yes, uh, apprehend. Do not pass judgment. Very well. We and will. They, mm -hmm. And they only do stuff within the... I mean, well, I assume they can be trusted to follow the rules about which... Zone yeah, that'll be... Do stuff in. Yes, that. that is... That's very quick. So they will divide themselves up and have someone patrol the main area. They're happy with that. Um, I guess the Titanians are going to be pissed off that we're letting them be the police, though. Yeah, Amelia mm, says... um be fine. That's interesting... Uh, the Titanian government would have provided police forces. Well, but... hang on, hang on. We didn't say that they're the only police. Yeah, yeah you could definitely... Uh, we, we'd rather yeah. have an official police force and they can just, you know, provide supplementary stuff because okay. they're... Uh, yep. Like, that's what I was going to suggest. They're, they're they, they would have to okay, yeah, if... people over to the actual police because... I didn't realize it was a one or the other thing. Um, all right, the... The ultimates are going to have issue with not having complete power. That's kind of their trip. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, so I can, know they you like. Can, you can sit down and talk to them about it, but yeah, their their thinking is we could definitely handle this. Will be absolutely fair. The Titanians aren't going to hate you. They're just going to be like, eh, whatever, kind of like. <laughs> mm. But they aren't going to hate you. Um, uh, you could you could do a mixed police force. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the best idea. All right. So I mean, or, I, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, like we we should have an official, like neutral, police force that is not strictly affiliated with the Ultimates. But if you know members of the Ultimates want to volunteer for oh, yeah. it, they, then they, they will they will be <laughs> happily accepted. They so, volunteer yeah. in droves. Okay, yeah, they, they'll they're fine with that. Um, they are actually probably going to be quickly transformed into a like SWAT type unit, where oh boy. they are deployed as a last measure. Um, so yeah, that compromise works out pretty well. Um, anarchists, um, Rexus basically is oh man, what I kind of like the idea of the autonomous zones. That's fucking sweet, like collectives and whatever. I'm I'm fucking down with that. <laughs> He's gonna petition <laughs> for even more of them. Uh, no, he realizes that. That would probably not work, considering like four of them. Yeah, I was about to say we've only got. <laughs> don't really. So many. So he says, uh, "Can the collectives get?" He's calling them collectives. You can call them districts, or whatever. He says, uh, "Can the five collectives actually get some input on the government?" Like, uh, uh like I know you're gonna vote, cyber vote, but yeah. can we, uh, you know, not <laughs> not a lot of... as long as you can get people to you know go outside their districts to vote then yeah you could get some input but well, what specifically is he asking for yeah maybe some sort of he kind of is in, he's kind of picturing a board of like kind of a senate of the districts where they just get to discuss things uh, with the president uh, or whatever you want <laughs> it, okay if he just wants a discussion like Kind yeah. of council. I'm not. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, yeah I know, that's and I don't want to create another branch of government with powers. Just it's great. Yeah, yeah no, we can uh, discuss <laughs> things there. Yeah, the districts and maybe. Okay. You know, I don't want to get any more hands broken. So maybe like 
fucking knowing what the Ultimates <laughs> are doing beforehand. That's fucking excellent, man. And yeah, then they can, yeah, we can then, do that. Then. then they can form committees that blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, they can form committees to discuss other things, and it will be great. Yeah. Also, um, I think we should make sure that there's some kind of official forum for all of the uh, districts or whatever to to publish their rules and make it very clear about yeah, exactly that would be good. what ah, laws excellent. apply within their districts because yeah you know it'll cause problems if people wander into the ultimate district without understanding what their laws are basically. All right, and Piscean Four delegation Captain Claire Bell says um. <laughs> okay, I see you've uh, opened up your police force to anyone that wants to join. Oh dear. Would you be adverse is... to me and my men here joining as a very strict branch that just looks at things going into Piscean 4? And we would not enforce mm -hmm. any of your laws. That's all we would do. Mm. Um, that seems like... Sure, already... if, if on one condition, that mm -hmm. when you're fulfilling your job, you don't have the... Yeah, I was about to say, if you actually want to go inside the city, you've got to turn off your connection to Maggie. Hmm. Okay. Keeping in mind, they have a Ghostwriter module literally built in. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. You have to get rid yeah. of the Ghostwriter. Oh, no. Because that's like in their body. They'd I know. Have to, they'd have to cut it out. No, they aren't willing to do that. Yeah, well, that's so. unfortunate. Oh, well, that, that is unfortunate. Look, maybe we can work something out later, but <laughs> for now... But yeah, as far as look, I'm we, we, concerned, we, we this have... colony is a Maggie-like quarantine zone. Don't we we have we are going to publish some unofficial guidelines that we suggest people don't bring stuff into Piscean Four if you don't want it. Right. Uh, we're not willing to enforce those those rules just mm. yet, but um, you know we'll at least make your concerns known to the various people, and right. uh, so we can talk again uh, <laughs> later and dis discuss how that's going. Very well, I'm mildly disappointed, so but. No, I'm well, not. We, we are gonna we are gonna get that morph for Maggie though. Ah, yep. okay, that's good, that's good. Um, would you be adverse to maybe having that morph have a beta fork and set up an official delegation inside the center of the city? In the center, uh, that's interesting. Or give us our own district. Let's. Hmm. We have to live together. I North. know, I know, I know. I'm. I'm... Well, if, if you want, like, a small embassy, maybe. Yeah, I was about to say, let's set up an embassy first and see how that goes. Okay. Cause like if... you, can have, you can have, like, one small... But, building, yeah. Which... All right. We're going to give you a building, <laughs> not a whole district. All right, yeah, because if you gave them a building or a district, they would... Yeah, immediately start. <laughs> uh, no, they'd get to participate on the talks and they'd get to vote. So, yeah. Okay. I think we can get rid of purple circle then. Yeah, they'll just be chilling out right there. Uh, and you don't need to roll with Ramba's character to get the rep exchanger. That's basically okay. that's you go to you send a message to Luna like if we get a quantum entangled communicator, we give you the other half and we keep this half and we pay you a small fee. Will you send us up to date? You know, rep to whatever conversion. Yep. Okay, well that's, then, let's get that taken care of as soon as we can, yep, because that's so, kind of a so, source of uh, problems yep. on this settlement. You basically set up a uh, rub exchange stock market, so uh, you could expand that to include stocks. The PC would super love it if you, and they're, they're willing to buy. Stock stocks. Yeah, so would the Morningstar Constellation, and so would uh, Titan, Titanian Commonwealth, uh, from their okay. own districts, but or from their own Qualities, but they'd pay for that themselves sometime in the future because that mm. would be yeah bet that strictly only benefits them and like possibly investors that they have okay yeah so you set that up and uh, i will make a note here of what you ended up choosing mm. yeah. fortunately i think the session's going to be a little bit shorter than uh was planned but yeah Oh yeah, weren't we gonna do? We were supposed to do Rogue's there? mission. I'm, thing, I'm hesitant but, yeah. to do it without him here. But... Um, yeah. honestly, 
me uh, getting up on the wrong side of the bed might might be influencing this, but I'd rather wait. Okay, then let's uh, we'll... just have this be like kind of a maintenance session. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so change take it one while. Set it. Uh, didn't you say was there a different one you also had prepared? I forget. Yeah, it's the uh, uh, the firewall one, which oh, I God. tell you that you don't want to go. That's gonna be several. Yeah, you, you don't want to go without sessions. the guy who can shoot shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. I think that's gonna be one of those ones that we're gonna want everybody to be here. But yeah. Okay. So are we just not doing one today? Um, or? we can do some more maintenance stuff. Yeah, if, that's cool. But honestly, yeah, it's because I, I want Rogue to be here because this is his side quest. Yeah, his. Like, yeah, no, no, I, I totally get and that. And if you go, if we, you do your side quest, you're going to go insane. Like, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Good times. Because it's fucking psychic shit. So deal with it. But yeah. Uh, but don't you not have that prepared anyway? Yeah, I don't have that fully prepared because I'm still trying to decide how I want everything to work together. Um. Okay, fine. We can just yeah. We'll maybe go like thirty more minutes here. Okay. Okay. So um, I guess then we can do some anarchist talky stuff where uh, for getting you on blacklisted. So that'd be useful. And then we will do um, Artemis's gene hack extravaganza that she did. Remember that? Oh boy. Oh yeah. Remember, yeah. Yep. Good. All right, so uh, Ethan, uh, you go back to Pandora because you and by yep. the Titan Kamala because you have that using my the, fancy new gate. Yeah, you just you don't have to pay. You just step through. <laughs> they're like clear it in the schedule, and they're like okay, like, good. Um, so you step through. Uh, you immediately get contacted by a shit ton of media who are asking for your statement. Oh God. Regarding the trial. Or, okay. <laughs> do you give one? You can just give a blanket um, statement. Oh my goodness. Uh, this isn't going to be my exact words. Again, I'm kind of fumbling right now, but I feel kind of sorry for the prosecutor now. This is... I feel like I have an unfair advantage, even. Oh my. Uh, and news hasn't gone through of the type of government you've chosen. Do you tell them that you've gone Morningstar? <sighs> or not Morningstar. Uh, Titanian Commonwealth, basically? Might as well. They'll be happy to hear it. Yeah, they start cheering. Uh, uh, the PC might be a little... Uh, that, it will take a while. It. Uh, it. Nah. it will take a while to yeah. get there. Unless okay. you have a dedicated quantum, quantum entanglement thing. But yeah, um, how is this trial going to go now that I kind of hold all the cards for it? Uh, no, they, they, they're super happy. They're cheering. I'm like, wow, yes, oh man. That cyber democracy is spreading beyond the star. Um, so basically, you're put into like a simul space room. Um, Maggie's on one side, you're on the other. And Maggie? Just, Maggie, Jesus Christ. Nomics. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was about to say. Sorry, I was, I was getting my AIs mixed up. <laughs> uh, and Nomics is on the other side, and you get the sense that like a bunch of people are watching you. Uh, like it's kind of like a stadium, like as it reses in. It's like a stadium. You're on you're on one side of the podium. She's on the other, um, and it's just like a stadium of people staring in, in on you. And uh, a guy drops in. He's riding like a microphone that drops down. He drops down on it. He picks up the microphone. And he says, "Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a political debate that will decide the future <laughs> of this young gentleman over here?" And they start going nuts. <laughs> and it's like a wrestling match, basically. Oh, God. Uh, and he, he, like, uh, does, like, that over, like, gestury type deal, and he, like, waves you. He says, in this corner, in this corner, in this corner, and echoes throughout the uh, stadium. We have Ethan Glenn Cross, CEO of New North Wales Survey Corporation, one of the founders of Walesgate LLC, and all-around nice guy. <laughs> and in this corner, we have Nomix. An AGI uh, from uh, Extropia, known for her skill and judgment. And that goes boo! Um, and so he says, as always, we will start with the prosecution. Nomics, you have the floor. And he just bows out. 
Yes, this is the best legal system. What do you want? <laughs> this and... is fine. <laughs> Great. So, Nomix set, just kind of looks around. She, like, is rolling her eyes. She says, Assemble, ladies and gentlemen, and gentle beings. <sighs> this man is not a, the long lost son of Titan that people claim he is. He is, in fact, a Martian. Uh, he is a person who enjoys. Who subscribes to hypercapitalism? He doesn't. Sub the only reason he subscribes to microcapitalism is because it's convenient for him. Just don't be fooled by his honeyed words. Be fooled by the facts. That, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna assume it actually said that. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. Look at the facts. God, where to start? I see the floor to meet for, Mr. Flint yeah, Cross. For starters, um, I'm Barsoomian, and... Ooh, just <laughs> crowd. There's Which, a guy. Uh, if you knew anything, you know, about uh, things outside of your own little uh, data box there, you, Damn! you know that we're, not, uh, we're not really a fan of, uh, you know, all controlling immortal oligarchs and all that. Mm. But um, honestly, I think uh, the the quality of uh, the accusations here speaks for uh, the whole case. There's a guy in the front crowd that's holding a sign that says John 316. He's, <laughs> got, a, he's got a rainbow fro. Uh, yes, I admit that you have that you have recently made it look like you're Titanian. And I'm receiving news that you even set up a titanium form of government on your, oh boy, on the world that <laughs> your corporation, I will remind you, your corporation controls. <laughs> we don't control the entire planet, geez. And besides, this, the uh, colony that we set up, we haven't named that place yet, have we? Oh, you haven't. You want to name we it? Should... Well, no, no, that's that's a meeting type thing. You should literally but, just name it Nomic, Nomic City. <laughs> In honor of the well-meaning AGO. Yeah, but the colony that we've set up is a place of discussion and, you know, tolerance even mm. of the different ideas that are, uh, you know, across the solar system. Damn! Bringing down the discussion. All right. The guy on the mic drops down again. He says, uh... All right, time for round two. <laughs> and he says, debaters, choose your champions. And Nomix is like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> debaters, choose your champions. And then a uh, like a little list of famous wrestlers drops down. <laughs> so it is actually just wrestling. Yeah, it's going to just turn into wrestling right now. Nomix is like, this, what is, what are you doing? Okay, what kind of role can I make to, you know, to somebody who's not... Do you have Old Earth History? Oh, hell yes I do! Yeah, it's a success. I was hoping you... for something a little higher, but... Uh, you find on Andre the Giant is on that list. <laughs> <laughs> How is Good. that possible? But Andre the Giant is great. Shut up. Well, if you build an AI... Andre the Giant is great! It's build an AI to study his personality and then put that AI inside of, uh, you know, bio inside a, inside a singlet. No, this is all on simul space. So oh, okay. Then you put that AI in a singlet. Yeah. Then you so, pretty much got Andre the Giant. Yeah, so Andre the Giant comes out from, like, a, he rises up from the floor. And Nomix, I'm going to make a secret roll. GM roll, right? Yep. Okay, Nomix. Yeah, Mullins. Uh, yep. So Nomix just scoffs and chooses someone, and they come up, and it is. Hold on, let me find a list of wrestlers. <laughs> Got to roll for random wrestlers. Yep. It is. Let's see. Found a list of things that will use. Nope, this guy's not good enough. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, it's Hulk Hogan. Say, do the Hulk. Hulk Hogan like the comes down. I know. Hulk Hogan <laughs> comes down. He says, "Ooh, brother, are you ready to fight?" And he just starts flexing. 
And so Nomix goes, how, how does this meaningfully contribute to the debate? <laughs> and the crowd this starts doing exactly. What? Uh, I assume this is run by the government. Yeah, pretty much. Why would the Why would the government allow this to happen? Because it's basically Maybe it would have they have it somebody been, on their staff who knows a lot about wrestling. Uh, it would have been tougher. Like it would have been an actual debate, but there's literally no reason they would like. Yeah, unblack <laughs> this you. They're turning this. Uh, so they're just this turning it into show a, trial into an actual show trial. Yeah, so. into a show trial. So uh, Hulk starts flexing. So uh, you make an argument. How this is going to work? You make an argument and you roll persuasion, and then that then you describe the okay. move that your wrestler does as a result. <laughs> so okay. under the giant versus Hulk Hogan. Okay. Um. My goodness. What kind of argument do I want to make here? This, these accusations are stupid because I subscribe to the type of capitalism that, you know, Titan subs- kind of supports. Okay. Make your persuasion roll and then yep. describe the move. Yeah, we're good. Re- describe how on- what Andre the Giant does. Um, you know what? We're going to start out big and he just body slams the Hulk. Hold on. We should tell Rambo what we're doing. Yeah. Tell him it's okay to get in here, even. Uh, yeah, no. He body slams Hulk Hogan, and Paul makes goes, okay, let's see. With, like, a shit ton of negative modifiers. She fails, and she says, this has no legal precedence. She just, <laughs> what are you, and Hulk Hogan just starts flexing and going, um, Hulk Hogan starts flexing. Is this flexing. really, wait, wait, uh, not wait. Extropia, uh, uh, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. I just came in with a mention of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So I kind of make want to make you listen to the episode, but it's uh he's doing his we're doing Ethan's um uh trial to get on blacklisted and um they set it up like a wrestling match. And they chose Yeah, also wrestlers. Rambo, we need a money changer. Uh okay. anyway, a moment, I'm trying to open Firefox. We're all we're almost done. You can just literally yeah, listen to Yeah, you can just listen. Because it's okay. pretty fucking great. Um, okay, cool. Sum up. So it's, uh, it's Andre the Giant. Did. Yeah, it's Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan. Uh, and Andre the Giant just body slammed Hulk Hogan as Nomix made a poor argument like, is this even legal? What What is going on? I was expecting it. And Hulk Hogan just like, it's like, oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah. And he just keeps flexing and he's uh, not doing anything. Because she did not make an actual argument. She was just uh, complaining. Um, let's see. Nomix is from Extropia, yeah? Yep. Okay. Yeah, if this is the best that Extropia can do, well... Oh, I don't know. This is crowd. kind of pathetic. Uh, that is a success. Nomix is like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this is obviously a sham. People are, like, booing her. Like, boo! Boo! Why would you even care? Shameful. Yeah, do you have any parting shots you want to... She's like, I'm done. No, I'm just gonna let her leave. All right. No, shake she, she, she her hand as she leaves. Come on. She doesn't have a hand though. I mean, I can yeah, try, but she does. It's simple space. Hand. Oh, it's oh simple. yeah, it is simple oh, space. Okay. Uh, one important first. moment. One important moment. Uh, is Hulk Hogan's theme playing? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Yep. Um, I'll try and shake her hand then. She's like, I don't. What? Oh. People are booing, and the guy with the microphone drops down, and he says, and the winner is, by an amazing <laughs> knockout from his opponent, is none other than the Ethan Glenn Cross. The, cloud, the crowd just starts going wild. Uh, <laughs> and he presents you with a champion belt that says... Uh, Good. Unblacklisted. He, yeah, it just says <laughs> yes. unblacklisted. It's like, oh, do you have any final words for the crowd, sir? Oh, goodness. Uh, suggestions, guys? I can't think of anything to say right now. Uh, Aussie, Aussie. Be true to God. Be true to your country. <laughs> Drink your milk. Are you John Cena? Take your vitamin. <laughs> Brother. That, that oh, actually yeah. works. And all right. that is also a success somehow. Holy crap. The crowd just starts clapping. They, they're all standing up. Yeah. Uh, 
as you as the spotlight's on you, and then you fade out. And you're we'll, uncensored. We'll, we will encourage Titan to be slightly healthier now. <laughs> you uh, you can now get at rep. You're no longer black instead. Good, because I just put a uh, ten at rep in my thing. So nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, brother. Um. All right, Doctor Artemis. Uh, yes. You are. You actually need to ask your boss about the uh, Titanian University stuff. If you have. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. We. <laughs> yeah, so ask him about that real quick. Let's see what Ethan says about that. Okay. <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. What do they? What do they want from us? I mean, Just, aside from access to the gate, was that it? Yeah. Discounted price. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, so they'll actually wait in line. Yeah, we can do that. That's not as bad as I remember it being. Okay, yeah. So uh, you you get a message from Doctor Balder. He says, uh, "We just got news that we've been approved for uh, limited or for gate use at a discount through your company. Yep. Uh, good work, uh, Doctor Artemis. Uh, and may I be the first to congratulate you on your tenure? You should absolutely yes. be to him." Oh, wait, you can be a jerk to everybody now. You've got tenure. Yep. I've got <laughs> tenure. Fuck you all. I don't uh, so, know how to say. So he's like, I'm, I'm very happy. There will be a uh, party in your honor at some point. Uh, when we can so actually... Does that mean I get to add the, the trait for it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's turning up. Everything's turning up great for you guys. So yep. far. Something terrible is going to happen next session. Terrible happens. No, everything's going to be great. Ignore those boxes. Those shouldn't be there. Tenure. So, uh, I've got tenure. So, uh, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Dean, Dean Anna contacted you. She says, uh, these things that we made. Yep. Uh, they're fucking... <laughs> and they broke? No, they're great. Oh, okay. Do you want to go public with them? Like, I know you wanted to do testing. But, uh... So can we go public with them? Uh, have we done enough testing? They, I would assume so. They've been cleaning. They, the only real glitch is they <laughs> once they see like a room, they imprint that as how it's supposed to be. So if it if the room is not already like spotless, they will maintain. <laughs> like if you drop them in a messy room, they're gonna assume that's how it normally is, and so they'll yeah. actually try and keep it that messy. Yeah, I kind of knew about that. Um, <laughs> That's like the only flaw I'm seeing, though. These things are great. Like, do, do cleaning once and then they maintain everything. That's yeah. fucking great. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess we can go public. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little scared that that something is going <laughs> to go horribly have... wrong. Horrible Why? viruses inside of them or something. Why would you think that? Everything's going great for you, and I certainly promise that nothing will ever go bad once you do the firewall mission. Oh, I God. see. Um, well, okay. If if you think we've done sufficient testing, then sure, let's uh, let's go public. We've done more testing than I've ever done. All right. Yeah. Uh, do you want to sell the? I mean, it's Titan. You can sell the stuff, or you can make it free. Uh, no. Let's just make it free. All right, you get plus two R. Three mice. You get plus two R up. Nice. Yeah, the nice. scientists are happy that you're doing that. And uh, since uh, Ramba's here, Jay Crows. Uh, yeah, I'm not here. Here, I'll probably be gone in like thirty minutes, but sure. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is long. probably the last thing we'll do. Uh, you are on the moon. You've returned home. Uh, okay, you... so Arato. Yeah, you're having a fun time. You're having a giant party because the ice droid is on its way, baby. Good. Uh, everyone's counting down. They're like, three, two, one, ice droid. And you just see it, like, hurtling in. And you get a uh, message from the suicide dude who's on. He's like, this is fucking awesome. Uh, so how much rep did you invest in that? Because you get that all back. <laughs> Holy shit, it's a 20 rep. You get that back, and then you will get rep on top of that. So you now have an ice droid in, a, in and around uh, Luna, uh, which you can sell. Nice. Who do you want to sell it to? Everyone's, like, fucking clapping. Uh, oh, yeah, you get five F rep for the show. Ahem. Uh, I am going to be holding a press conference, talking, of, making a very important announcement. Take, yes. Telling everybody how important uh, this asteroid is. I'm ready to get to a critical, stating how that is actually not going to be owned by... 
you know, one corporation on Luna, but by all people of Luna. These are resources Whoa. that are needed for the welfare Whoa. of everyone else. Oh my god. The fucking crowd go, goes silent, and then you see the uh, feed flash uh, up with, like, a uh, crazy entrepreneur offers ice for everyone. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, clean water. Basically a dying all resource right. is now guaranteed for all. So they you lose, back. you lose, uh, the corporations are not happy with this. They wanted to buy that, but you've already made your decision. You continue to own it. You lose uh, two C rep. The corporations are not happy. Uh, you gain uh, 15 F rep. So, yes, super uh, yeah. famous. Yeah, everyone's fucking super happy about Jay Cruz. Like, have you heard what Jay Cruz did? Yeah, he gave water to everyone. Oh my god, he's a real philanthropist. Oh my god, ah, we love him. So uh, everyone's riding high. Good. Uh, everyone's. Why don't I get any groupies? <laughs> you, you can. You want to publish a paper? Your character is. Yeah, I'm publishing papers all the time. All right, you have. Yeah, but you don't have the sort of social finesse to talk about. Yeah, your character's a shut in. Such as, yeah. uh, you don't have groupies. High food. <laughs> You don't have groupies. You have admirers of your work. Yep. Um, and desperate grad students. Yeah. Marcus <laughs> Marcus is not one of those admirers, by the way. <laughs> wow. He came voluntarily. All right. So I think I'll call the session there. And everyone, uh, I'm just going to give everyone two res, no nominations. It's just, yeah, that makes sense. Because Rogue's is. also not here. That includes Rogue's character. He gets plus two res. Yep. Sad thing. Okay. Happened. Yeah. Here. So everyone gets plus two res. I, I think I've given you enough rep. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. And next time we will try yeah, we'll to actually try and do a uh, yeah, rogue thing. Yep, I'm just making notes here. Okay, questions, comments, suggestions. No, I think we're good. For oh, maintenance man. session, that was. I mean, yeah. I pretty good yeah yep sorry it didn't go oh. longer but you know yeah it happens it's a not but a total I... party kill session so it's gets